Hey, what up guys, it's Fishy and welcome back to some more Run Total War 2. Basically, uh, first off, just apologies, I haven't really done many videos recently. Um, I recently moved into university, I'm now at university. So I've kind of, for the past, what, week and a half, I've been settling in, going out and getting drunk and just starting my course and just, yeah, you know, just settling in. So that's really why I haven't uploaded a video in about a week and a half. Um, but from now on, I will try and get one up at least once a day. What I'm planning on probably doing is uploading smaller videos, so like 20 minute videos. But trying to do that like once every day or once every two days. That's kind of a plan. And Crusader Kings 2 and Mountain Blade will be making a return pretty soon as um and it, as it's been almost a month since Rome 2 is out. So yeah, Crusader Kings 2 and Mountain Blade and hopefully some E4 if I can get uh Diplex and Prussian Prince together and we're gonna have a nice online game of that. But you know that's all in the future. So yeah, like when we last left off, Carthage was extremely unhappy with me. Uh, I hope I actually, I actually kind of want it to rebel so I can just kill it. because um, I have such big armies here and I've got my artillery army as well incoming which will be really cool to use. Um, but yeah actually I think that's pretty much all I wanted to do this time. I don't think there's actually anything uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything I actually want to do. So we might as well just go ahead and click and turn. Um, and let that roll. So yeah, I think we're going to be going to Greece pretty soon as well with our armies. Um, I kind of need to leave a stationary army in Carthage to keep it happy. Um, but I don't want to leave Legio 2 there because Legio 2 is the one I've got there at the moment. And they're just, they're just really strong. That's probably my best legion. It's got armoured legionaries and everything. Um, yeah, I'm going to accept that. I don't want to go to war with Africa. Um, or whatever that place is called, because um, that, that faction is just really big and scary. So a non-aggression pact with them is in my favour, because I don't I don't plan on expanding into Africa anytime soon. So you know, yeah, so it's not that bad. Or oh, noble death, crap, who died? Yeah, so they're gonna rebel pretty soon, which is fine with me. Like I actually don't really even care if they rebel. Because I've almost got my navy here, which will just bombard the city and it'll be really cool. Oh, they're inspired as well. Nice. So this place over here is inspired. Uh, yeah, as you can see, they're extremely happy, which is good. Gives me lots of money. Um, yeah, that's awesome. So they are happy. These dudes are going to get happy soon enough. These guys are happy as well. Oh, I can actually get a siege place now to make giant ballistas. And Oh, cool. Let's go ahead and grab that. That's a lot of money I just spent on that, but it's still going to be worth it, I think in the long run it'll be cool um, so yeah they're gonna rebel which is fine I might as well just let them they're almost there next turn cool okay cool let's go and end the turn we'll watch them rebel and then we'll put down the rebellion of Carthage oh there you go they've got a is that all they've got I was expecting like a big old army to come out but apparently not there's no way they're gonna be taking that I guess over time it gets bigger like every turn you leave it maybe more people flock to the rebellion but who knows Hopefully, yeah, it should be easy. I'll be able to kill it really soon. And I guess maybe these guys have come up to kill kill the army as well. I don't know. I'm not quite sure where they're going. Because we have an non-aggression pact, so... Piracy. Piracy is taking control of one of our settlements. So what's that? Is it these guys pirates? No, these are my, not my allies, but my non-aggression friends. Hmm, I don't know where that is. Hopefully now we're too dangerous. So yeah, this army's just rose up. We'll go ahead and just kill it. Can we get our fleet here in time? I wonder. I kind of not really on a on a seabed, are they? So I doubt this battle will will count. But we'll go ahead and attack the army. They'll run away, obviously. And now they've disappeared. I, I am trespassing, which is bad. But I just want to kill this army so it doesn't carry on growing. Are we just going to fight it because I haven't fought a battle in Rome forever? So I want to, you know, want to see what it's like. Uh, with all the changes, even though it's not going to be, I guess, a fair representation because, you know, look at my armies compared to theirs. But still, it'll be, still be kind of fun just shooting my ballista at them. Certainly, that's at least something to look forward to. Yeah, so after we've taken this army out, and hopefully Carthage will then become happy again, fingers crossed, then we'll probably move Legio 1, which is our strongest one, over to Greece. And then move like Legio 3 over and to defend Carthage from any rebellions or anything. Um, so yeah, this Legio will go over to probably Sparta. I'll probably start to start from the bottom. It's nice and easy. Or maybe you attack one of the barbarian tribes up by Macedon. I mean, maybe I can get an alliance with Macedon and I can take out Greece that way. But the only bad thing about that 
is that Athens is a city-state of Macedon. So if I was to do that, I would have to not attack Athens. And I, I kind of want Athens because it's a nice city. It's, it's pretty big. Okay, cool. Let's go and just do this. Oh, our armies look so good. They just look so beautiful. Ready to go. And the thing I like, oh, it's just siege equipment. It's such a shame you can burn down the gates because siege equipment is just so epic in this game. Like, it's just so big. Like, these are the smallest ones you can get and they're just still so cool. And yet you can just easily burn down the gates. That's what I kind of think is so sad. And that's something they should not have done. Okay, cool. Let's start it. Can we hit them? Yeah, we can. So let's go ahead and... Oh, we can't actually. What's their range? Oh, okay. It's not really that far. Two arms! Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, so they're going out. Hopefully we can hit some elephants. And even if we miss the elephants, we're still going to be hitting the men back here. Like, as you can see, we already damaged them a bit. What's explosive shot? Let's do that. That sounds cool. Let's go ahead and also run up our skirmishes straight away, because if we can try and take down some of these guys beforehand... Okay, so I guess, guess it just kind of explodes. So it's not really what we want. We kind of want just solid sh rounds to try and take down the elephants. Even though that just killed a lot of them. Oh, holy crap, that just killed so many. Maybe we do want to go with explosive shots. The general running. That, that just killed so many, that was crazy. That was insane. Hopefully we can get a spear throw off before they charge upon us. They are in skirmish mode, aren't they? Yeah, they are in skirmish mode, so they should just run away if anyone gets close, which is good. And the catapults are still shooting. They're aiming at the moment. Hopefully we can just kill the rest of their men. We'll send up some legionaries just uh Yeah, we've killed all the elephants now. We'll just move up the rest of the men just to quickly win this battle. This battle won't last much longer. They'll pretty much rout instantly. Like, this was never going to be a difficult battle. It was just I wanted to fight it because I haven't played this game in so long. So... I thought, why not fight it? Is that everyone? Yeah, cool. Easy victory. There was no way that was gonna they were gonna beat me in any way. I lost six men for that though. What a shameful display. How did my general kill ten men? He literally sat there doing nothing. What? This is how many men they killed. This is really confusing because none of it, like half my infantry stood still as well. Oh, I guess because I killed the army completely, it just gives everyone some kills. I guess because, yeah, the army's not going to stay around in the fright. Oh, I've missed them so much. So yeah, that's a nice victory there. Uh, kill the captives. He increased in rank as well, cool. Now let's go ahead and get the hell out of their territory when it stops lagging. Oh, I've suddenly got an awful frame rate. How weird. So yeah, let's go ahead and move him back. Now they're now happy slowly, but we'll go ahead and increase that by doing that. Also, I want to have a look at their culture. It's slowly becoming Latin. Yeah, it's slowly becoming Latin. So as soon as that's done, we can then move them out. But <coughs> and that's absolutely fine. So let's go ahead and move this army back to dock. Um, I'm actually going to move the army at Syracuse. What are these? Legio 3. Yeah, I'm actually going to move Legio 3 over here. So that Legio 3 can take over this. Whilst I move over and start my invasion force of Greece. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So I think what I'm going to start off by doing is attacking these guys, maybe. Because they're then they're not... Oh, actually, no, they're quite big, though. Look at them. They've got a place up here as well. No, they don't. Let's go and have a look quickly. Oh, they're doing tech. Um, oh, let's do our ammunition stores. 20% shot per minute. That's really good. We don't really need to go down this tree anymore. Like We kind of got everything, have we not? Yeah, this is, I mean, that's really good, the last one, but 
we don't need that quite yet. I mean, oh, you might as well just do, get training fields as well to increase the uh, skill of our men. So yeah, let's quickly go ahead and go do this. Uh, we'll click on these guys. Who are they allied with? They're not allied with anyone, which is nice. Oh, and it's v these dudes are the scary guys. That's going to be so cool because that's going to be such an epic battle when I try to push north and this faction's just all of this. So it's going to be really, really cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and declare war on these guys when our armies are in position. And then once we do that, then we'll move down to Athens. Um, but they're, they're allied with Pontus. That could be difficult. Um, I'm doing Macedon is as well. So I guess I'll take out these guys and then Mac Macedon, I guess they're in Thrace um, at the moment. And then once we've done that, we'll push down and kill these these guys. I mean, yeah, we can kill Sparta pretty easily because then Pontus won't get involved. And then hopefully Athens will join them. And because, yeah, that's, that's a plan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to declare war on Sparta because they're not allied with Pontus. And then hopefully that will draw Athens into the war. But it won't draw Pontus in because um, Sparta aren't allied with them. So then hopefully I can just kill Athens that way. Okay, cool. That's quite a cool plan. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, but for now, we need to go back. I'm going to still actually send two legions over there. So, Legio 2 is going to come as well. So, let's go ahead and just build them a few men. Uh, we're going to wait till... Oh, no. Is that is it built now? Two more turns till it's built. So, once that's built, uh, we'll go ahead and start building our siege equipment there as well. It pretty much means our fleet as well. This fleet can just move over and stick in port over here, which is cool. Uh, this Legio can just stay there. That legion can just chill there. Oh, yeah. I need to upgrade him. He got... Increase in battle. Um, what one do we want? That's really good. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one because it just gives them so much more armor and that's just really, really good. Um, that's really good as well. Oh, holy crap, his freaking ze zeal is so good. He must be so good in combat. That is crazy. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually give them Dread because, oh, I don't know, Offensive is really good as well. Yeah, that's really good. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Uh, okay, cool. Let's get in the turn. That General is so strong. I'm pretty sure he's my faction leader as well. So, yeah, I, I'm, hopefully he's my faction leader because he's so good. Hopefully he's in my family because if he's not in my family... That will not be good too good. I haven't even got to like a civil war yet at all, obviously, because this is such an early stage of the campaign. I don't even know what civil wars are like, so I assume it's just other families going against you. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Hopefully that'll pay for itself over time. And that's quite a big faction as well, so if that faction likes me, then it just means that, yeah, I don't really have to worry about it. Worry about like someone attacking me in Africa, which is nice. Uh, so yeah, it's just some legionaries recruited, which is good. They're slowly getting happier. If I move this army out, and then move this army in, they're still whiny bitches. Okay, cool. So I guess I'm just going to have to leave. It's minus four, and that's going to be done in four turns, so maybe I don't really have to worry about it. Because I, I, I really want to just move this army out. If I build some more troops here as well. If I build like two more units there, hopefully that will make them happy. Because I, I kind of really want to start building this invasion force. So yeah. Actually, I, I kind of need to move an army over here to Rome. Because I need to get it so I can use this. I oh, know they've already got one here. Yeah, what am I doing? I'm an idiot. Uh, let's go ahead and start building some really cool catapults then. So they're Roman ballista. That's what I've already got. They're quite cool. I might go ahead and get some of these. Because that's just really good for taking out infantry. Giant. Oh, we need some of these. We'll get two of them. And then, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. That is, they're, they're, they're just going to be so big, it's going to be epic when we get into battle with them. When we move over to Greece, yeah. Greece is going to have to fear me. Uh, whoa! They literally have nothing. They have some olive oil, and that's it. And they want me to give them free grand. I do not think so. Just for that insult, I'll make sure I kill them now. They offered me insult, so they will fall to the legions of Rome. You mark my words. So yeah, I, I literally can't wait so until I can use my artillery ships, my giant Roman ballistae. It's going to be so cool. I'm literally so looking forward to just shelling, shelling a city from the from the sea. 
uh, stop the abduction. Uh, the abduction. Uh, what am I looking at? I'm looking at this. I want to say, yeah. Uh, look how big my house is now. Yeah, apparently, he's the really good guy. Yeah, we kind of need to get. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I apologise. <coughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, he's a really good guy who's like fierce in battle. So if he dies in battle, you know, that might not be the worst thing in the world. This dude looks kind of cool. But then he's pretty average. But that's fine. Everyone else don't really care about that much. I mean, we still hold the majority for a single house anyway. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, we've got all our artillery in this army now. These are going to be so cool. So yeah, what we need, we kind of need some more legionaries, and we need a bit of missile, and then that's army, that army is completely done. This army just needs to pick up maybe two more bits of artillery, and then they're done as well. So maybe let's go ahead and just pick up uh, some of these bad boys. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick up like one of these, and then, yeah, they're pretty much done. I don't really need to do much. I mean, I'll stick some more infantry in there. And then we'll get ready, yeah, we'll start the invasion force. Because, I mean, I can pretty much take out both of these these armies at once. As long as I am as long as I can land, then I should be pretty much fine. So, if, yeah, if I land, like, one legion, like, here straight away, and the other legion just here, then that's, that should be fine. It's going to be, the hardest fight's going to be around here, for sure. But I just need, yeah, I need to be kind of careful. Hopefully they spread out that navy a little bit as well. But yeah, this city shouldn't be able to withstand me at all in the slightest. So they should just get wrecked straight away. Which is good. And then, the, it's going to be a little bit harder fight having to try and fight the, the Greek city-states. That's going to be a little bit harder just because it's got, like, Macedon, Athens, and Sparta all at the same time. But, you know, as a, you know, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, I really kind of want ammunition stores, so it's just so good. I lose less attrition. I can already get this, what the hell? What do you get from a siege workshop? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Number three. Right, let's just kind of go ahead and get ammunition stores. Because, oh, I really want to get freaking artillery towers. That would be so cool. There's just so many things I want to get to, but I have to do so much first to actually get, get to that point. Okay, cool. So this army can carry on moving forward. It's going to take him a long time. It's going to take him forever to get here. But that's fine. This army can get ready in preparation. This fleet is almost in dock, which is nice. Um, oh, because they're recruiting, they can't move. That's annoying. We might as well just get them over here. Because, I mean, they don't really need it anytime soon. So yeah, let's go ahead and stick these over there. How is Carthage looking? Are they going to rebel anytime soon? No, but it's almost starting to like me, which is always nice. Let's go ahead and just get an auxiliary camp there. They can be my auxiliary station. And just down the turn again. We're going through these turns quite fast. It's kind of annoying that there isn't there isn't any battles. Like, at the moment, it's just like a state of peace. It's all building up to that big battle in Greece. And I, I kind of am being quite cocky here, because... The, the nations to the north could declare war on me at any time. Like that one, that nation which just went, the one with the ram's head, that nation could just wipe me out any time they want. They could march on Rome really quickly. And I'd probably, I'd probably lose like my frontier two cities. I'd probably lose these two cities so quickly and Rome would be a scattered defence. Like I'd have to bring all my men back and it'd just be, it'd be kind of dangerous. Like there's no guarantee I'd be able to hold it. So I'm being kind of cocky just not really worrying about it and just kind of being like whatever. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and recruit some men as well. We'll go ahead and get one of them and we'll get one of them. Cool. That's all our money I want to kind of spend on these armies. So, go ahead and end the turn again. And then, yeah, so, so as soon as my armies get here, I'm actually going to start moving them over, get the, the preparation ready, and then just go straight away. Take this city in like a turn because it's, it's just going to fall under my might um, and then I don't know because I don't want them to land in Rome if they land in Rome they can probably take quite a lot that's the only bad thing like if they land an army in Rome I can wipe them out but they're still going to have their army just 
running around Rome killing stuff. So I kind of hope they come and just try and defend their city. That's what I'm hoping at least. 